Tonight, a serious safety issue is coming to a head in multiple cities. Some police officers are resisting COVID vaccine mandates, potentially leaving their departments and their cities shorthanded. The issue is especially acute in Chicago, where homicides are up 55 percent, shootings up 68 percent since 2019. CBS's Charlie DeMar has more. If you can financially sustain a hit, then stick to your guns, take the hit, and we will fight it. Chicago Police Union President John Catanzara is urging officers to ignore the looming deadline to report their vaccine status to the city. He's predicting if the city tries to punish officers for not complying, only half will show up to patrol city streets. Any sergeant, lieutenant, captain, or above who gives you an order to go in that portal is not valid. You are able to refuse that order. Can officers ignore direct orders from a supervisor? They do so at their peril. Insubordination is not something that we can tolerate. The policy announced by Mayor Lori Lightfoot in August requires all city employees to be fully vaccinated by tonight's deadline or risk being placed on no pay status. Workers can be unvaccinated through the end of the year if they undergo regular testing off the clock and out of their own pocket. The mayor insists the city will be safe. Should citizens of Chicago be worried about their safety? No, they, they, they shouldn't be. Obviously, we have contingency plans in place if they are necessary, but I'm confident that they're not going to be necessary. It is not only Chicago police officers facing vaccine mandates. Hundreds of officers in Seattle and San Francisco could lose their jobs if they don't submit their vaccination status. Chicago Alderman Anthony Beal, a critic of Mayor Lightfoot, is worried about safety this weekend. I implore that the governor of this great state of Illinois declare a state of emergency. Illinois Governor J.B. Pritzker has said the National Guard is at the ready, but Mayor Lori Lightfoot has yet to request it. And this past year, COVID-19 is the number one cause of death amongst officers nationwide. Major? Charlie DeMar, thank you.